Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start setting up our uh, setup for getting items started. And how we're going to be doing that is we're going to be setting up a structure with um, all of our item info that we'll be getting. And we'll also be setting up a data table. So basically, for those of you that don't know how this works uh you create a structure which which will populate your data table info um with basically a collection of variables let me pull up the structure here so basically you just make a collection of variables um when you have something in a game that is going to have very similar variables um you know something like a bunch of items um we make a structure and then we just populate our data table with that structure so that's just a quick rundown of it but uh yeah that's what we're gonna be doing in this one so let's get started all right so the first thing we're gonna do here we're gonna go into our first person folder we're gonna go into our blueprints we're gonna make a new folder called structures or you can just call it structs we'll call it structs then we're gonna open up this folder and we're gonna right click and we're going to go to this little blue uh, blueprint tab right here. And if you go to the bottom here, you'll see structure. And we're going to create a structure. We're going to call this S underscore item info. And we're just going to open this guy up. I'm just going to save that real quick. And I'm going to pull up my reference so I uh, remember everything I put, put in the structure. Uh, not this yet. This guy right here. All right, so... Oh, uh, whoops. So, the first thing is going to be our item class. So, this will be the, the blueprint of the item. So, we're just going to name this guy item class right here. Uh, we already have a starting variable as a boolean. We're just going to leave that a boolean for now, but that actually needs to be our uh, base item uh, class variable. We don't have that yet. We'll just come back to this here in a little bit. And then... We're going to add a new variable. The next one is going to be our static mesh. So just come up here to add variable. And we'll name this one static mesh. And we're going to come over here and make this a static mesh. And that's going to be a static mesh object reference. And we'll save that. Then our next one is going to be our item name. So we're going to add a variable. And we're going to just type item name. And we're going to make this a text variable. And then our next variable is going to be item description. So we're going to add a, a new variable. We're going to name that item description. And this is also going to be a text. So we'll just leave that a text there. Our next one is going to be item type. So we're going to add a variable here. I'm going to call this item type. And... We're going to leave this a text for now. It needs to be an enum, but we need to make that enum. And we'll do that after we get these last two variables in. So, we're going to add a variable, a new one. We're going to, this one's going to be a boolean called usable. So, is this a usable item? As in, like, is it something like a flashlight? Can you use the item? Can you turn it on and off? Is it something like that? Or is it just like uh, some lore that you pick up? You know, and this is going to be a boolean, so set that to be a boolean. And our last one is going to be our pickup sound. So we're going to add a variable, and this is going to be pickup sound. And we're going to make this a sound cue. Sound cue, object reference, and we're going to save. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make our item type enum. So we're just going to minimize that for now. Go back to our blueprint folder. We're going to make a new folder here called enums. And we're going to open this guy up. Right click. We're going to go to the uh, blueprint uh, spot right here again. And if you go down here, you see enumeration. We're going to make an enum. So click on this guy. We're going to name this E underscore item type. And there we go. We have our enum. So let's open this guy up. And... <clears throat> For those of you that don't know what an enum is, it's basically like a list of things. So if we just add a bunch of these here, it's just a list of things. You can just name it whatever, you know. 
and depending on which of these are selected and you know depending on how you're using this in a blueprint uh, you can make different things happen uh, it's pretty useful I use them all the time so uh, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and populate this with what we need our top one is gonna be a nun so we're just gonna name this top one nun our next one is gonna be tools so we'll name this one tools our next one is going to be light sources. So light sources. Our next one is going to be a power source. So like batteries and stuff. Power source. And our next one is going to be keys. So add an enum. We'll call this one keys. And we're going to add another one called puzzle item. So we'll call this one puzzle item our next one is going to be objective item so add an enum objective item and our next one is going to be a collectible so collectibles add an enum name this one collectibles and our next one is going to be environmental so we'll just name this one environmental and we're going to add one more for lore. So, add an enum. Lore. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'm debating on if I want to keep this lore or, um, inspectable. Uh, let's add a new one for inspectable. That might be a good one to have. So, we'll add one for inspectable. So if you want to inspect an item, you know, pick it up and move it around and look at it. Uh, we'll see what we do with these later. But that's all we need in here for now. So you can just close this guy down. We're going to go back into our structure. And right here on our item type, we're just going to look for our item type. E item type. We're going to set that variable. And then the next one we need is our item class. So we're going to go ahead and make that now. So go to first person your first person folder blueprints and we're gonna make a new folder in here called items and we're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna right click we're gonna make a blueprint class this is gonna be an actor and we're gonna call this BP underscore base item and this will be our base item uh, we don't really need to do anything in there yet we're just gonna come back into our structure here and we're gonna set our base item BP base item and we want this one to be a class reference so click class reference and we'll save that and we can close it and that is our structure it's every, everything we need for that so now we're gonna go ahead and make our data table so go to your first person folder and we're gonna make a new folder in here called data tables and we're going to open this guy up, and if you right-click and go to miscellaneous, uh, you'll find a data table right here. So click on data table, and you'll see it'll ask you to pick row structure. So we're going to choose our S item info right here to be our structure. If you choose that, press OK, and we're going to name this data table DT underscore item info. And we'll save this guy. And we'll open this guy up. And this is our data table. If you look up here, you can see all of our... Um, all the variables that we had inside of our structure that are here. And if we go up here and we add, we can add a row. So basically, you'll add a row for each item that you have within the game. So like you would have a row for your flashlight. You would have a row for a key. You know, all of that. They'll each have their own row, and then you just populate the info of those items here. So, for our top one, this is just going to be uh, the item class. We're going to choose BP base item. And our static mesh, we're just going to make this a cube. And item name, uh, we'll just call this base item. And item description, uh, we'll just say this is our base item. 
and item type this is gonna be we'll leave this one none and is it usable no this will not be new usable and we don't really need to worry about a pickup sound at least not right now so right now you'll see up here in the top left it just says new row if you click on this guy and press f2 we can rename this and we're just gonna rename this to base item and there we go that's all we need to do in here for now so save that guy close that down and now we're gonna go set up our base item so go to the blueprint items bp base item we're gonna open this guy up and we need to add a few variables here so we're gonna add a variable this one is gonna be item name and we're gonna look for we're gonna make this one a data table uh data table row handle is what we're gonna make this we're gonna compile and save and if you come over here to the right uh we're gonna select our data table for a default value so this is gonna be dt item info and row name <clears throat> uh we're not gonna do anything with that yet not yet so we'll leave that that and then we're gonna make a new variable called item info and this one is going to be our item info s item info like that so we'll compile and save and then the next thing we're going to do is we need a static mesh to uh you know so we can have some items so we're going to go up here to the add we're going to search for static mesh add that guy in here and i'm just going to name this item and then the next thing we need to do is set up our data table so that our item info takes in the the row that we want for uh you know when we select when we make an item we'll choose what item it is and then that will populate that blueprint with all of that info so we're going to go to the construction script for this and those of you that don't know how the construction script works, basically the construction script is something that runs in the editor. So anything you put in here, this will run in the editor. Whereas, you know, you come in at an event graph and run this on begin play. This runs after you press play. So this stuff runs before you play. This stuff runs after you play. So we're going to go into the construction script for this. And we're going to right click and we're going to get data table row. The one at the bottom here. Get data table row. You don't need any of these up here. We're going to get data table row. We're going to hook this guy in. And then we're going to pull in our item name variable here. And we're just going to pull off this guy and break. And we're just going to hook up our data table here. And our row name here. And then we need to set our item info, so pull this guy in and set it, to be the info that we're getting from our data table. So we're going to plug this guy in, and our out row right here, we'll set this, and that should be good. So the next thing we need to do is we need to set our static mesh so that it knows, you know, what mesh it is. So I'm just going to pull off of this guy, and I'm going to break it. And then we're going to pull in our item. And then I'm going to pull off this guy and set static mesh. And then we'll plug this guy in. And then we're just going to pull from here and hook up our static mesh. And that's all we need to do. And if you go back to the viewport here, we don't have it yet. But if you come into item name and actually come up here to self and drop down you see this item name right here if you choose row name if we choose base item you can see it populates with the cube and it'll do that for anything that we set up in our data table so like say we make a flashlight and we have a row with all of our flashlight info in it if we select that flashlight info it'll populate this mesh as a flashlight so yeah it's the general setup that we're going to be using for items um and yeah we can pull this guy into the world we see we got a cube and this info all came from the data table that we set up right here so we set our cube as the static mesh in here 
and it has all of this other info about it in there as well. But yeah, that's all we're going to do for this one. In the next part, we'll probably go ahead and start trying to set up uh, set up our interaction system a little bit. So we can uh, start making items and interacting with items and uh, you know all that fun stuff. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And if you have any recommendations for tutorials you would like to see, also let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.